it's a game really we don't have to sell for you it's got such a fascinating history you know the interest we could have sold the stadium out what five six times over i reckon because of the history of the rivalry here hopefully it lives up to the billing thank you Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Hello to you all and welcome to today's game. Number 19, Kieran Norris. Number 28. There's a win today and uh, other opportunities, of course, will get the promotion, but that win will guarantee it in this match. Yeah, and I can't see them blowing it now. They have been consistent all season and deservedly so. I think they will go up. Thank you. Enjoy the game. So... Here's the kickoff, the game is underway, sit back and enjoy. Poor attempt at a pass, really. And this is today's starting lineup for the home team. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so, if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. And to the away side, this is how they line up for this match. Well, it's the old joke, isn't it, Alan? Diamonds aren't forever, but they are, for this game anyway, for this manager. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? We've got those lads on the side of the diamond quite wide, but I think they might tuck in when they haven't got the ball, just to try and stay nice and solid through the middle. Goal news from Port Vale. It's a goal for Port Vale. Four minutes played, 1-0. Well, that's news of a goal, and, it, and here's the shot. Got in the way. Excellent interception. As for a team going for promotion, you draw on your own experiences, Alan, when you look at games like this as a broadcaster? Well, my first ever year in football for Leicester, we gained promotion, and it came pretty late on the last day of the season, as it, as it might here for this side, just keeping your nerve. Lovely ball. Space to try and hit it now. Well, that's the way to take the lead. That's a stunning goal. Fine move. Excellent application in front of goal. He's a really good player. And he's taken the chance with some aplomb here. Great moment for this football club. An early goal. And promotion comes even closer. It could be clinched today. Well, it could be, and I think they're in the position to do exactly that. They look confident down there. Well, it's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal for Berry. Number three, Banks. Chris Stokes. Nelson. Perkins. Goal news from Exeter. It's a goal for Oldham Athletic. 20 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. And he shoots. Maybe a bit of a sighter, but it was a strong effort. I have seen him score from those kind of distances. Well, one of the best so far this season. Hit first time with, with real power. Stokes. Just looking back, as commentators do, on the previous meeting, which was a draw. Um, it slipping it through. Put into the middle. And the goalkeeper, it's his ball. Goal news now from Carlisle. It's a goal for Crawley Town. 27 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Going for goal! Corner given. <laughs> Swung in from the corner. To punch that corner away. 
bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Played, trying to run off the shoulder of the last player, offside. That is a weakness in his game, gets caught offside too many times. He goes a bit early, gets a bit too eager. Good reading of the play by the defender. Goal news from Cheltenham. It's a goal for Swindon Town. 33 minutes played. 1 0. Cheers, Alan. Perkins. Banks. Short passes. They're keeping the ball. And a crack! They really had a go in the quest for this equaliser, Alan. Yeah, it was a half decent chance. Maybe snatched at it a touch. team have some work to do Alan, because they've lost their last two games they've got home advantage they, they need to win today yeah they do put a pressure on them in front of their own fans but uh, I fancy them to do it here actually well, he spotted the pass and cut it out good vision got the opposition back pedaling a little bit cleared away well away from goal Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress, giving it straight away. Morris. Three minutes from the referee by the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Good challenge here. Well, so far, so good for them today, Alan, in their attempt to actually clinch the promotion that they've been craving, clinch it here and now. Well, it's been a long, hard road for them. And to get to this position, you certainly don't want to mess up. It's a time for, for cool heads in the second half. And here we go with the start of the second half. Goal news involving Cheltenham. It's a second goal for Swindon Town. 47 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. That's an easy cutout for the opposition, saw the pass coming. Probing with the pass. And that's deflected behind, it will be a corner. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, I thought he looked lively in that first half really sharp and obviously got the goal another 45 of that and he'll be well pleased corner played into the middle goal news now from Notts County it's a second goal for the visitors 52 minutes played 2-0 thanks Alan They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. And they get it away. Perkins. And he tries to chip here. Got to be. Well, you've got to have a go, haven't you, to score a goal, but the odds were against him from that position. Uh, lost his call a bit there, I thought. It was a really wild effort. Well, they've got a lead to hang on to the away team here and they're trying to do it I think by running down the clock whenever possible and you can tell the home fans are frustrated with their team and with the tactics here yeah you can understand it every opportunity the away team gets they will slow the, the score it's a miss at a significant time will that come back to haunt him they could have been pulling ahead yeah you see it so often 
But uh, they are still in charge of this match. Well, a quick reminder that as it stands, they will be promoted. Well, all on course. The ship seems to be sailing in the straight direction, but can change, can't it? Men in the middle frustrated because that cross has gone straight behind. A substitute coming on to try and repair the damage now. Goal news from Exeter. It's a goal for Exeter City. 65 minutes played, 2-1. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. That's a shame, because in the end, that will go down as a poor cross, really. Well, there's some drama in the game being watched by our good friend Alan McInally. They're sending off, I believe, Alan. It's a red card for the visitors. They're down to ten men. 73 minutes played. It remains 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. He's given possession away here. Getting forward well as a team now. In with a chance. Well, the goal down, but here is a chance. It's a corner. Substitution for Berry. Coming up the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. He's played really well. He's a thorn in the side of those opposing defenders and took his goal really well. Corner swung in. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Well, then it goes. Well, he used the inside of his head well, but not the outside, off target. Yeah, just slightly mistimed that one. Well, we're in the last knockings of the game, but we're still on the edge of our seats here. It's that close. Seven minutes to go. the move and able to cut out the pass here's the chance the post and gone behind Four on the ball. Read the play well. And the added time will amount to three minutes at least. It's a good piece of defending to stop the supply into the centre. It is a corner. Now pile men into the penalty area. Well, because he was fairly close in, he's not decided to go for power, but well, I think he should have done better than to hit the post then. Here comes the corner. It's under hit the corner, and the man at the front post gets it away. 
and that will clear the danger. And shoots! That shot's blocked very quickly. Hit on the volley. Well, tremendous joy at the final whistle because that does, Alan, confirm promotion for them. Yes, it does, and you have your ups and downs during the course of a long campaign, and during those downs, you've got to stick together, but these lads did that. Terrific teamwork, some great individual performances as well, and it's all added up to a step up in league status for next season. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. We should have a fine game for you today. And our match today is Berry, and they face Port Vale. Well, they've already clinched promotion, this team, today, and played very well throughout the season. So they can enjoy this game. Yeah, they've put in the hard yards, haven't they, over the course of the season, and deservedly so, got their reward. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Well, this could be a terrific contest, and it's underway now. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. Well, it's the old joke, isn't it, Alan? Diamonds aren't forever, but they are, for this game anyway, for this manager. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? We've got those lads on the side of the diamond quite wide, but I think they might tuck in when they haven't got the ball, just to try and stay nice and solid through the middle. And this is today's lineup for the visiting team. He looks as though the manager has set up a team here. Whatever happens, we're not going to be beaten today. Does look that way, doesn't it? Shots on here. The chance did open up for that kind of shot. Well, if you don't have a go. Adams. Plenty of space out wide, and they're going to use it. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. He could lay it off to the supporting player. Excellent piece of defensive play, under some pressure, I must say. Goal news from Yeovil. It's a goal for Carlisle United. 30 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Thank you very much, Alan. Sloppy work, really. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. He's cut it out. Adams. Well, coming here today, you sense that the home fans expect a victory because they've won the away game against an incisive pass. 
Driving forward, purposefully. Delivered into the box. That's a good block. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. You can put them in front. I was on the verge of shouting goal for the first time today. The fans were as well behind that goal. Alan McAnally wants to join us now. He's got a goal to tell us about. It's a goal for the visitors. 26 minutes played, 1-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. With the owner of the silver hatchback with the licence plate GR55 Stokes. JKK, please contact the nearest security guard. Nicky Maynard. Room for the cross. Whipped in from the wide area. And they get it away. We can go to Alan McAnally now for news of a goal from elsewhere. It's a goal for True Alexandra. 32 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Could get his cross in now. And he's trying to get it away. Taking on the defenders. Now it's offside, and it looks as though they might be in to score. Nicky Maynard can finish it off and the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one that's offside and the referees acknowledge that fact Now Wilson couldn't hold on to the ball. Keep you right up to date during this match with what's going on elsewhere. And here's Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the home team. 40 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. They might have played him in here. And that's into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Not the hardest thing he'll have to do today by any means. Nicky Maynard. The referee has decided to add on two minutes. It's really passive play at the moment by the defending team. Very good attack, broken up in the end by... Well, that is half-time. And We hope the second half will provide a lot more entertainment than the first half. It not got a lot to live up to, has it? No, they've been stale, they've been lifeless, they've been bereft of ideas and both managers will be getting stuck into their players. Can go in from here, that whipped in ball at the near post. But that's the keeper's ball from the moment the cross left his foot. Into the attacking third. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising now for the pass cleared it well a great chance to go in front oh, too early offside yeah he's having a little go at his teammate he did want that pass earlier but he's got options on the bench of course Got his foot in to cut out the pass. We've got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now. And here's the shot. Working hard to try and get the goal that will put them into the lead. And the manager deciding to go for it and bring on a new player.
Goal news from Morecambe. It's a second goal for the visitors. 59 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Crafting the through pass. Well, there's nothing still to separate these teams, despite these chances. Here's Thompson. News of a goal from Yeovil. It's a third goal for Carlisle United. It's been scored by Hallam Holt. He latched onto a ball behind the defence and slotted home. 63 minutes played. Looking for a through ball. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Supporting player alongside. Probing away. Trying to find room for a shot, maybe. Good defensive clearance there. Probing the pass. He's through here. In, really, for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match. We are going to see a substitution now. And now Thompson. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. Nicky Maynard. The shot's on! He really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully. Not a bad effort at all. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. Now Clark. Plenty of space out wide and they're going to use it. Untidy work. to take full of the referee has blown and he's given the free kick it's time for some fresh legs here what a good chance this is to snatch it late on with a good delivery in delivers it in oh that's good defending a chance to break away now on the counter Four more minutes. Adams. Good strong tackle. Whelan. And the decision for the added time is three minutes. And it's going to go right to the wire here as they look for a winner. Now oh, the cross has gone behind. It's a poor effort. Oh, that is the final whistle. And it's finished level here. 